to combine our logarithms, uh, these are all natural logs. They all have the same base. So I know I can combine into a single natural log. Because I'm adding and subtracting different terms, I know I'm going to have a fraction. Any logarithm that is added gives me a factor in the numerator. So the two natural log of x, that's a positive in front. There's kind of like an invisible positive right there. So I'm going to get an x in the numerator, and the number in front is the exponent on that. So it's x squared. I also have here plus 4 natural log of y, so I have a y in the numerator as well. And the number in front of that natural log I know is an exponent as well, so that's y to the fourth. I'm subtracting 5 natural log of 4x, so the 4x is going to be in the denominator, and the number in front is the exponent. So 5 is going to be the exponent on this, and you have to be careful because that's an exponent on the entire 4x. And we'd like to, of course, simplify this, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, in our, our denominator, we've got this exponent that applies to two different things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've got 4 to the 5th, uh, and then x to the 5th. And now I can see, oh, I've got an x squared over x to the 5th. So we can cancel x squared out. And so we're left with just y to the 4th in the numerator, and then 4 to the 5th. And then we've canceled x squared out, so we're left with x cubed. And I'm going to leave it like that. I don't know what 4 to the 5th is, and I'm not going to plug that into the calculator. For part B, I have different, uh, three different terms. They're all log, common log, so I, I know that I can combine these into a single log. Because I'm adding and subtracting, I know I'm going to have a fraction. The positive logarithms give me terms in the numerator. So I have a log of 25. This is like a positive in front. So I have a 25 in the numerator. And I have a th positive log of 3x. So I have a 3x in the numerator as well. And then I have minus 4 log of x. So I'm going to be dividing here because of the minus by x. And the number in front is the exponent on that. So x to the 4. So, now I can simplify a little bit. I have a 25 times 3, which is 75. But I can cancel an x, common factor of x, from the numerator and denominator. So then I just have over x cubed. 